Today's two minute tech tip will focus on glass care. The number one cause of glass failures is improper maintenance. Not poor maintenance, but improper maintenance. Improper just due to lack of familiarity with having glass in an assembly. This failure actually outpaces all other failure modes combined. So it's important to take a second and look at some of the special considerations we need to have when handling glass. Three simple rules will help lead you to success in your application. The first is to ensure that you always use new parts. Glass must never be reused. Glass that looks perfectly fine coming out of an assembly contains a stress from the original bolt load applied when it was put together. That nice clean looking glass placed back in service can immediately fail during reassembly or at some future unknown point. So it's important to always use new glass when rebuilding. Number two is avoid gasket materials that can be harmful to glass, such as spiral wound gaskets or jacketed gaskets. The excess of torque required to compress the windings or compress the jacket can create uneven surfaces and have torque loads that are either too high or a surface that causes glass to be in tension, leading to glass failure. Lastly is the correct torque value. And this is extremely important. Identify from your owner's manual the proper bolt pattern and torquing sequence. Then you want to identify the proper torque value. After hand tightening the fasteners, start your torque wrench at only three to five foot pounds. Follow those same three to five foot pound increments in the same bolt pattern until the desired torque is achieved. This may take time, but it's essential to even loading the glass and having a good seal and an even surface. You'll also want to make sure you consider where the unit has a single window configuration, one per side, two total, or a dual window configuration, which is two per side, four total. Mm -hmm. This changes the torque value and can also limit life of the assembly if not properly applied. Following these three simple rules will help you to ensure that glass remains an asset to your facility and doesn't become a liability. Thank you.